so all the dear students i uh, don't want to uh, take your time because since morning you are all uh, uh, very active and very stressed out most likely uh, okay let us begin our discussion i hope uh, you have done great because most of them were uh, repeat questions few are definitely somewhat tricky and few are uh, you know integrated with uh, other subjects like microbiology uh, and also pharmacology okay so this was the image which was given so many students have shared with me patient presents with progressive and asymptomatic lesion over the neck there is no systemic involvement noted and what are the investigations you are going to do in this patient so was this the actual question or uh, yeah this was a multiple uh, correct answer type question so i have put it in the brackets okay so was this looking something like this block image was on the neck yes okay so whenever you see this kind of a image uh, which is basically a annular lesion which is having uh, activity at the periphery and you are able to see at the center there is a little bit of scarring okay and it is progressive and mainly it is asymptomatic so what are the uh, dds you need to think we can think of tinea we can think of lupus vulgaris okay so in this case the patient you have to think about lupus vulgaris and lupus vulgaris it is the most common cutaneous tuberculosis in the adults so with that knowledge we will try to answer multiple correct answer types so what are the investigations you can do koh if it is a fungal infection which you are suspecting we will do a koh so that cannot be the answer skin biopsy yes we can do a skin biopsy where we are going to see the granulomas chest x-ray tb workup yes that is also going to be done in this case hiv test it does not have any role so we can mark b and c as the correct answer yeah if the image you feel that it is not this one uh, any other image was asked please feel free to uh, you know post the image on my whatsapp number 75025 or you can also post it in the cerebellum academy official telegram channel and you can tag me i will uh, take that okay right right hiv yeah. image not exactly lesion okay yeah if it was uh, you know symptomatic symptomatic that is if it was itchy lesion which was mentioned in the question then you can think of a fungal infection that is tinea but because it is mentioned as asymptomatic so because itching is not there we can rule out the tinea so koh is not required okay so uh, why hiv not done okay so kaposi sarcoma so some student is telling it was like kaposi sarcoma Uh, so in kaposi sarcoma we are going to see purple colored uh, nodules over the body so can you please uh, post the image to me so depending upon the image we are going to have different answers yes if it was kaposi uh, image then the answer is going to be do a hiv test okay okay right this is the next question biopsy of a patient with recurrent painful vesicular lesions so this is very standard uh, you know question repeat question repeated painful vesicular lesions and erosions in the genital area what is the diagnosis you are going to think of you need not even see the image so image is also given where it was showing multinucleated gen cells okay this was the image which students uh, told me was given so if it was any other image you can please post it uh, in the uh, cerebellum academy official telegram group or you can also personally message me so if you are getting these clues the diagnosis is going to be genital herpes which is basically a viral infection which is caused due to herpes simplex virus type 2 so what is going to be the best treatment option for this patient it is going to be a cyclovir option a okay option a a cyclovir right next this is a we can say neat question also was asked previously so a patient with history of transient genital ulcer two weeks back now there is a lesion over the palms and soles and these were the images which students sh shared uh, with me so basically you are able to see that there are hyperpigmented patches and also plaques which are present over the palms so which are the following investigations is used to diagnose this disease and whenever you see this kind of a scenario where there was a transient genital ulcer two weeks back okay after which there is a hyperpigmented lesion over the palms you should think of a diagnosis of syphilis syphilis and this basically is the secondary syphilis 
stage where the syphilids are seen and for uh, syphilis which is produ produced by treponema pallidum what is going to be the investigation which you are going to use it is going to be bdrl which is a serological test so answer is going to be option d serology okay So in this question, only transient genital lesion was mentioned. So was it so transient genital lesion? Zank was there in this uh, particular question or any other question? Multiple option. So this is multiple option type of a question. So ulcer was not mentioned. Okay. Genital lesion was given. Okay. Any other input? It, was it a multiple option correct type of a question? Uh, and is it Zank uh, present? Zank is there in the option? Zank there. Achha, okay. No. Okay. Fine. So please, you know, uh, message personally or in the Cerebellum Academy uh, Telegram group. Depending upon the, uh, you know, points which are given, the answer is uh, going to differ. So if it is this particular question, then the answer is going to be serology only. Okay. So next is uh, basically, you know, local side effects of topical corticosteroids. So one line and type of question, but it is a multiple correct answer. Type. Okay. Please correct me if these options are there or if there is anything, uh, you know, extra. Okay. So. Yes, atrophy is one of the uh, local side effect. Acne form eruption is one of the side effects of topical steroids. Hypertrichosis, that is increased hair growth, is also one of the uh, side effects. Bluish discoloration of the skin, alopecia, are not uh, seen associated with topical steroids. In fact, in the alopecia areata, if you remember, we are going to use the topical steroids. Alopecia areata, we use steroids topically. Okay. Right. So this is a multiple correct answer question. So next is uh, correct options should be identified. And this is also again a multiple correct answer. Type. Epidermis can regenerate from hair bulb and sebaceous glands. This statement is correct. This, this statement is correct because there are stem cells present in the hair bulb and the sebaceous glands. Stratum corneum is the outermost layer. That is correct. But this cellular part is wrong. Why? Because stratum corneum is a dead layer. So it is a acellular layer. Epidermis is ectodermal in origin. This is a correct statement. Dermis and hypodermis are endodermal in origin. This is wrong. They are not endodermal. They are mesodermal. So, uh, answer will be option A and C. Option A and C. Okay. So, next this question, I think it was discussed by Gagsar. So, thalidomid except. So, it is not going to have an anti-metabolite action. So, answer is option A. H, uh, this is, I think it was discussed by Ranaman. So it is going to be 16 and 18. Uh, so it is a very simple logic. So we are going to have all the vaccines which cover the 16 and 18 strains for this same reason because they are associated with high risk uh, cervical cancer. Most common manifestation in the systemic lupus erythematosus is going to be option B, arthralgia and myalgia. This is taken from Harrison. You can take that musculoskeletal, uh, you know, uh, uh, manifestations that is arthralgia and myalgia are the most common manifestation and this also might have been discussed by Gergser so I am not going into the details of this so yeah so if there is a patient who is having gram negative diplococcus so gonococcal urethritis what is the most appropriate treatment so it is going to be ceftriaxone in a patient who is having the resistance to the penicillin so this is going to be ceftriaxone okay so I hope you know all the questions were covered uh, if there are any uh, other questions which are remaining, you can please post them in the te Cerebellum Academy official Telegram group or you can also personally message me on this WhatsApp number. Uh, I hope, uh, you know, you have got, uh, uh, you know, some idea about this uh, particular uh, dermatology. Why not photosensitivity? Because, you know, if it was a question which was asking specifically cutaneous manifestation, which was the most common, you can, you know, mark the photosensitivity, but here the examiner is asking overall what is the most common manifestation in the systemic lupus erythematosus. So you can see it is basically a numerical based. Uh, we can say, okay, right. So uh, why not vancomycin? So I think that was discussed already by uh, 
గర్గ్ సర్ ఇజంట్ ఇట్ సెప్టర్ ఆఫ్ జోన్ సారే ఓకే ఎనిథింగ్ ఎల్స్ సర్ డియర్ స్టూడెంట్స్ సో ఐ హ్యావ్ ఇంక్లూడెడ్ ది వన్స్ విచ్ ఆర్ ఇంటిగ్రేటెడ్ విత్ డర్మటాలజీ బట్ ప్రాపర్ డర్మటాలజీ పర్ సే ద క్వశ్చన్స్ వీ కెన్ సే విత్ ఎవర్ ఫ్రమ్ ఫోర్ టు ఫైవ్ ప్రాపర్ ఐ హ్యావ్ ఆల్సో ఇంక్లూడెడ్ అదర్స్ టు మేక్ ఇట్ హోల్సమ్ ఓకే సో థ్యాంక్ యూ సో మచ్ డియర్ స్టూడెంట్స్